I have that feeling of, oh my God, what, what comes next? What's going to happen next? Uh, the same when I do a presentation or do some speaking. It's like, I don't know what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. And it's even more difficult if I have uh, fear around it or if I have, um, you know, something about myself that maybe I don't want to face. Those places are even harder. And I think the places where I need support or a client needs support mm -hmm. of someone to stay with them while they're in that space. Mm -hmm. So I, I see it as happening quite, frequent, quite frequently that it's a part of being alive and aware that uh, life is always changing. Things are always happening. We don't know what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. And if we operate in a way of just doing rather than being and being present, we miss those opportunities for something new to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, often when I have a client come in, you know, I've had a session a week ago or some time ago, mm -hmm. often I say, gee, I wonder what's going to happen today. I don't really know. But it's a way of meeting things in a, a fresh way for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I hope during the conference we can hear more about this. Phenomenon. Well, I think we're all going to be talking about it, aren't we? <laughs> Everybody. That was the criteria. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see uh, different people's take. Very much, yes. On the meaning of it. Yes, yes, very, very. And very I, I look forward to what, what comes out of the conference in that way, because like everything else, I'm sure people have a little different uh, point of view about yeah. the, the importance of it, how it happens, how we support it happening. So yeah, I'm looking yeah. forward to 